morning everyone welcome to another new vlog um now i have my coffee i'm ready to step outside and face the world not really i'm just ready to do some gardening <laughs> this is my herb corner which is right outside my front door and this is a ponciana tree that i planted probably about a month ago uh, i planted it in front of my house um, I hope the council is not going to mind. I also like to decorate the bottom of my council trees. Um, in this tree here, I'm actually going to put some more succulent because it looks a little bit bare. So succulent is pretty hardy, so you just plant them and you forget about them. So every now and then you have to do some weeding, but it's not very often. So yeah. And that's just me removing some of the rubbish and putting it in a fire pit. Okay, the next task is to plant some seeds. Some seeds you can plant in winter, so that's what I'm doing now. I'm planting some more sage because I use it for decorating a lot. And I'm also planting some strawberries. And that's the seeds. And then I'm just covering it covering the seeds with a little bit of um, potting mix and then just water them. I'm also planting some carrots. I never really have success with carrots um, because I don't really water them too regularly and carrots really need regular watering so I'm just trying again. And I'm putting some tags for the seeds this time I'm trying something different. I'm putting um, clear nail polish just to see if it's a little bit um, waterproof. I'll let you know how that go. After all the gardening tasks are done, um, now I can sit down and do a bit of crocheting and have a cup of tea in the meantime. So I thought I'd sit outside since the weather is really nice. So I'm just giving the outdoor furniture a little bit of a wipe down and as I was about to sit down I realized that the dog's kibble need topping up and their outside water also need topping up so I did that first. Now I finally get to sit down and enjoy my jasmine tea. I also want to finish my grey and white scarf. Um, let me show it to you later on in the vlog when I'm done with it. For dinner tonight, I'm making Indonesian beef rendang. First, candle. Well, it's not quite candle, it's actually wax burner. But that's my candle of choice for this cooking show. All right, so I'm getting the ingredient, which is desiccated coconut, coconut cream, um, rendang paste, onion, and some gravy beef. I normally use chuck steak. Um, here I'm just dicing up the onion and also dicing up the gravy beef. Just put them all in the big pot and you just fry it to seal the, the beef and caramelize the onion a little bit. Once the beef are sealed, so the color is a little bit gray, um, you can start putting in the paste, the rendang paste. I use Ayam brand and you just fry it to make them fragrant. So make sure that the paste has direct contact to the bottom of the pan. And then I put some diced potatoes and some sweet potatoes. I don't usually put sweet potatoes by the way. I'm just using up the leftover sweet potatoes I have. And then coconut cream. You want a whole can. You also need about two cups of water. So I just use the same tin that the coconut cream comes in. And then you need beef stock. I use the brand Massel and I use two cubes mixed with one cup of water. And then you just mix them all up. And then you just simmer it for two to three hours. And in the meantime, you can roast it some desiccated coconut in the grill. Be very careful with this um, because they burn really easily. 
So I just put it on 180 using the top element of the grill. So after about three minutes, two to three minutes, so yeah, a bit of a warning, it turns brown really quick. And then you can set them aside. And don't forget to stir your curry every now and then. Look what I just picked up. All Indonesian snacks. Tonight, Isabel and I, we're going to do a haul and a try on. Stay tuned. Next, I'm putting in some peas and corn. And also the desiccated coconut. This is all towards the end, probably the last 15 minutes or 30 minutes of the cooking process. So at this point, the um, beef is already soft. Now it's time to put the dark brown sugar and a little bit salt to balance the sweetness in the curry. Now, it's crucial that you taste the curry now to make sure that it's not too salty and it's not too sweet. It must be balanced. Mm. Yummy. A few points I want to make in this video. I don't usually use peas and corn. I just have some leftovers from cooking other dishes. Also, rendang curry is normally quite a dry curry. So to make the real rendang, you have to keep cooking and keep reducing your sauce. But I like mine to be quite saucy, so I'm turning my stove off now. Um, so yeah, so that's my version of rendang curry. I hope you like it. Let me know if you try it, guys. Good afternoon guys, I've just finished um, cooking my rendang, well it's not quite finished yet actually, it's simmering on the stove at the moment, but it takes three hours to cook so I thought I'll come out and have a cup of tea. It's a beautiful Brisbane weather. Oh yeah, and I'm wearing my um, scarf, can you see the colour? Yeah, I thought I'd show it to you. Don't normally wear a scarf to the garden. <laughs> Isabel's inside doing her online uni exam. Um, so I thought I'd come here and give her some peace and quiet because of, if I talk in the kitchen, she'll get distracted. I did today. <laughs> I tried to um, vlog in the kitchen while I was making my rendang and I'll get yelled at. <laughs> so yeah I guess you need concentration hey yeah but that's a bit different isn't it like how good is that that you get to do your uni exam online from home that is so convenient cheers Isabel doing her exam on the other side of the kitchen in the front room. So 
I've got to be quiet. Look at that, bread. Nope. I cut myself. You gotta try this. It's really good. See, I can see a growth here on these leaves, so I'm gonna cut above it. That's it, that's what I do basically. Cut this one, and I also make sure I cut the, the fruit as well. As much as I hate throwing it away. Okay. This is what they look like after their haircut. Very, very bare. That's all right. We'll see how they go. Hey, wish me luck. Indonesian supermarket in Indrapilly. I think it's called Happy Shop. Can't really remember for sure, but I'll put it on the screen if it's wrong. Um, and they deliver it to North Lake, so um, this is everything that I ordered. So I thought I'll open it with you guys. I'm here with Isabel. She just finished her exam. Okay, let's do it. I'm excited because I'm dying to try this. First one. Onde onde. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's um, it's got mung bean inside, and then it's got some sort of glutinous um, coating on the outside, and sesame seeds covering it. Mm. You can try yours. Mm. It's not. Here you go. It's mung bean. Yeah. It's actually really good. We're just going to share one between the two of us because we got a few things that we need to try. Tastes better, I think. Mmm. Mmm, it's really good. Mm. I think this is 9 out of 10. Okay, next. Next is um, Indonesian steam cupcakes. That's what I'm gonna call it. So it's just like cupcakes, but I think the texture is supposed to be really, really soft because they're steam, not baked. This is what it looks like. It's so soft, is it? She never tried this before. Do you think? I like it. I'll see if Todd likes it. By the way, this is coffee flavoured. <laughs> <laughs> Next, ooh, this you like. But it's a bit like crepe with pandan flavour. And then they have a coconut filling. Coconut with palm sugar. You try it. You like it? You like all I don't think it needs to be warm. Doesn't it? That's the coconut and palm sugar. This is like a, my mum used to make this for after school. 
Lucky Day Spring Roll. Um, it is actually spring roll, but deep fried. Mm -hmm. And then crumb. Oh, crumb and then deep fried. So this is chicken and vegetable rissoles. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, it's got ragu inside. Ragu. That does not sound good. No, it's good. Ragu. Ragu. What is that? I'm not sure. <laughs> it's this like white sauce and... Mm. Warm so much better. Yeah, I can imagine. Do you like the finning? Mm. It's actually nothing like spring roll actually. <laughs> no, nothing like spring roll at all. This is um, Indonesian resold. The sauce tastes familiar. What do you think? It tastes Western. It is that? Mm. Tastes Western. <laughs> this is the most authentic and the most exciting thing <laughs> out of the whole whole. Okay, this is called Bacang. This is actually more Chinese than Indonesian. Uh, Malaysian have something similar. My friend Connie used to make it, um, but her version, because she's Malaysian, uh, is made out of sticky rice. This is normal rice. I haven't had this for years, guys. Oh, it smells so bad. Oh my god. It smells so bad. No, that's just the smell of the, the leaves. I know, but oh my god. <laughs> I'm like throwing off. Mm. <laughs> no. no, I don't think no. she would like that. I think it's okay if you like mushroom and peanut pork bacham. I did not know that this is why I ordered basically. So it's okay for what it is, I guess. It's no, gross. chili flavored cassava chips. That's what it is. This is really good. I'm not going to open it. Isabella Sana Chili and I already know what it's like and I'm not going to open it because then, you, you know, it goes stale. Alright, this one is, um, it's called Pilus. Pilus. You know, like the, sometimes you get those peanut with coating on mm -hmm. the outside. This is just the coating. Without the peanut, <laughs> which is to me is the best. Oh, hello! hello. Give him a come. You want, you want bad chum? No, you're not allowed. Okay, get up, get up, get up. <laughs> okay, so I've got two of these. And I've got two. Oh, this one is not. Nothing new. This is just um, shrimp, shrimp crackers, Indonesian brand. I cook this in the microwave. Um, you're supposed to deep fry them, but okay. That concludes our try on haul. Try on because we <laughs> try them all almost. Okay. So, um, which one is the winner, Izzy? Which one's your favorite? Mm, I don't know. I like both of them. This. Good, yeah. What about this? That one's still good. But I like this it's soft, right? So yeah. I think this one comes with different flavor, actually. Actually, every single thing that we tried is very, very authentic. I think this is all made by Indonesian cook. Um, I'm not sure if it's done by one person or many. Yeah. Okay. See ya. Bye. Bye.